Hello Traria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Calamity Mod. In today's episode, I want to do a bit of refocusing. You see, the past two episodes have been defeating bosses and getting a few new weapons. Today, I want to dive back into the actual, you know, mechanics of the mod. I want to look at some of the things we've overlooked and kind of delve deep in some crafting recipes and just kind of, you know, have a nice relaxing episode where we look at cool stuff. That's all I want to do today. I'm super tired in that sense. I I, I mean, I'm like, I'm like tired of bosses. We did a, <laughs> we did two days of boss rush and then now I'm burnt out, but I, I'm so pumped to see some new stuff. So let's begin. Right. First things first, we have some demonite to deal with, right? We have a bunch of demonite that we actually need to smell up. So going to smell all of that now. Okay, so that's giving us quite a lot. Awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to craft myself a full set of armor just because we can. So we have a full set. And then I'm also going to craft myself a pickaxe because I kind of need a pickaxe. But where is the pickaxe? Did I? Oh, I used all the shadow scale. Ah, right. Bit of a stupid move there. Do I have any more in the slightest? None in nature, none in ores and gems. Any in crafting? Oh, there you go. Right, I have some in crafting. Okay, good. Good. Right, so first upgraded pickaxe. That's awesome. And then there is a... This is an axe, right? So we'll upgrade the axe as well. And then while we're at it, may as well grab a hammer. Just so we actually have one. So we can bin... So we can keep that there, we can bin this, we can bin that, and then we don't have a wooden hammer. Right, I've never made a hammer before. Okay, right, awesome. So we're going to put our jungle armor in here, and then we're going to leave that like that. Right, so that was step number one. Step number two, clearing away our weapons. So I've already put some of the stuff in here, but these are the ones we're going to be using. This stuff right here. Okay, so now that that's done... I want to look at an item recipe for... Actually, you know what? One more thing. I need to look at the item recipe again for those bars that I had yesterday because I completely forgot what they actually do. Something to do with the ocean. We need to go to the ocean today. That's definitely on the hit list. So, oh, I'll tell you what. It's weird. I uh, just remembered we can't fly. All right, Daniel, tell me all about these. Okay, the Lazinator, which I uh, mistakenly called the Zappinator yesterday. And then because I called it the wrong name... I couldn't remember what Zappinate was called. That was pretty hilarious. That's going to be good for uh, if we get the laser rifle. Right. This tide bars. Vice tide bar. Right. Never mind. All right. I need coral, starfish, and seashells. I actually might have some already that I might have lying around. So let's go and check. So let's go into uh, into nature. I'd have put them in. Okay. So we have seashells, coral. And then it was one last thing, right? So coral, seashells, and starfish. Okay. Right, let's make some bars then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we can make seven. Okay, now I saw that that gave us actual armor there. But I'm gonna go up to uh I'm gonna go up to the guide and see what he has to say about it. And uh see what we can make. Okay. Awesome. Right. Okay, so Seashell Boomerang, Sebo, what's that, 14 to 15, Red Tide Sword, Flood Tide Sword, oh wow, that seems awesome, so that's a hard mode weapon, and that's a, uh, that's just a usual one, oh my god, look at this, get out of here, buddy, get out of here, <laughs> get out of there, right, let's see what else, okay, so, Coral Spout, which is a magical book. Okay. Snardarian. That looks like a yo-yo. I, I immediately already want to make the yo-yo. The Urchin Spear. Storm Surge. So you need some uh, blah, 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 bars. That's the new orb we're going for today. Shield of Ocean. Increases defense when submerged in liquid. Oh my god. There is a, there is a lot here. 5% damage reduction. Defense increase while submerged in liquid. That's interesting. There's some interesting armors. I'm not actually going to craft these because I don't think they're going to be 100% useful to us. But I think the ones that I want to, the things that I want to look at are the yo-yo, the book, 
And then I guess the sword. So the yo-yo, the book, and the sword. So that's free. For actually, you know what? That's actually perfect. We can actually do all of that today. I think. Maybe? No. No. Yes? No. Let's have a little look. Okay. So that's two. So we'll make that. And then we need the sword. Or do we make... Do we make the sea... Oh... I'm going to go with the sword. Okay, I'm going to go with the sword. So like this, it's going to look like this. So let's check out the yo-yo. Because you know me, I love some yo-yos. Not a bad yo-yo. Not a bad yo-yo at all. Now the last thing was using coral, right? So we don't have enough coral for the actual spell. So I may pass up on the spell for now and just actually save the bars for hard mode. Right, now, now we've done that. One of the things I want to do today is I want to go and get that new ore. So the ore we saw yesterday, which I completely passed on because I didn't have the right um, pickaxe. I want to see if we can do that today. So I'm going to bring a Spelunk potion. And we're going to go and check it out. So it was actually down the chasm to the right he over here. Let's go down and actually check that out. It's super dark right now. Man, I wish I had some shine potions. I may actually have some in the chest. Let's check. Potions... Shine. Okay, awesome. So then I don't feel too guilty about uh, not holding a torch all the time. I'm using a new keyboard today. It's actually uh, such a minor change in life, but uh, using a new keyboard kind of throws you off balance. It's kind of funny because the keys are a little bit smaller than I'm used to, but it's my first mechanical keyboard. So I'm just getting used to the keys. So if I uh, make any uh, movement mistakes, I do apologize. I'm just getting used to it. All right, let's take the Spelunka. And let's go down. We actually saw some straight away, didn't we? So there's some there, and there's some up here. Okay, right. Let's uh, let's see if we can mine this now. Right, good. I was gonna say I'd be a little bit disappointed if we can't actually mine this, considering I uh, just popped the spelunker potion. I didn't. <laughs> I probably should have thought about that, but uh, I didn't. Right. Let's grab a bit of this. Now I don't know whether we go back to the house now, figure out how much we're gonna need of this, and then move on, or we just continue onwards with this. Um, I'm going to go back to the house. I'm going to go back to the house, smelt it up, see how much we're going to need. Right, so we've got four bars here. So let's go and speak to our guide one more time. Okay. Here we go. Right, guide, what can we craft? Okay, so sky fringe pickaxe. 95% pickaxe power. Wow. Okay. Harpy ring, increased movement speed. Oh my god, there is a lot here, isn't there? So this is a uh, angel treads. Wow. Extreme speed. Greater mobility on ice, water, and lava walking. Temporary immunity to lava. Increased wing flight time. Wow, that seems awesome. Huh. Essence of cinder. So we don't have that yet. So this is a hammer. So it's basically got like pickaxe hammer. Good stuff like that. A yo-yo, the air spinner. Oh, that sounds cool. Feather knives. Gale force. Trade winds. And a wind blade. Wow, the wind blade sounds awesome as well. You need a sky mill for all of these. It's actually a good thing because I actually have a sky mill. Huh. Okay. This is a material for something else as well. Most of these are actually materials for something else. Skyline wings. So you need five bars, five feathers, five stars. Right, we're definitely going for that then. So let's go for the wings. So let's get the um let's get the feathers first. Let's actually see if I don't have some already. And then we can, um, then we can go grab some. Let's see. Nature, nature, nature. Right, we do not have the feathers. Well, I'm actually going to grab the, uh, I'm actually going to grab the ore first because we have got the Spelunker potion, so it's probably best we do that. This is the sword. Looks pretty good. Pretty happy with the sword. I'm probably only going to use this if I get into some serious combat. But, uh, yeah, when you have a, when you have a mod that offers so many different styles and different weapons and such... It's kind of hard to test them all, but I'm going to try and test them all. And then maybe in the uh, future we can narrow down to a particular class. So we still check things out, but then we'll only play by one class. That'd be kind of interesting. I'd like to see that. But uh, let's see our yo-yo in action. Pretty happy with the yo-yo. Not as uh, strong as the bow, though, is it? Yeah, the bow kind of uh, stomps everything. All right, let's grab some more of this stuff anyway, just because we can. And uh, we'll grab we'll grab this whole vein of it. And then we're... Oh, snap. We'll grab this whole vein and then we'll move on because our Splunker Potion's only got a minute on it left. And to be honest, I'm kind of just exploring the mod today. 
yeah, I was feeling a little bit burnt out after the two uh, days of bosses. I was kind of like, I want to go back and I, I want to try all these uh, different things we've kind of passed. So it's a, it's a good day to actually do that. Series is over a week old as well. So if you've been watching from day one, thank you very much. If you've only just started recently as well, thank you very much. I, uh, I really appreciate your continuous support. It feels pretty awesome to uh, play a game and have a bunch of people watch you. It's, uh, it's a really nice feeling and uh, it's nice to have you come and join me, my good man or lady. Oh man lady, whatever. <laughs> okay, I'm going to grab that stuff up there and then we'll go. And then we'll go. I know I said we were done before, but after seeing it kind of in the open, I kind of want to grab it now. Hmm. Hmm. There's a, so this is the thing, right? So we just crafted all the shadow stuff, right? Which is like, hey, we crafted shadow stuff. That's awesome. But now the problem is, is we've just had two more tiers of pickaxes and axes and armor we can actually craft. Like, I feel like that's one of the thing. like, that's one of the problems with mods, is they add too much choice, which is not their fault, that's because they're adding on to an already finished game. But, like, just then, like, we just upgraded all our equipment, and we have two more options to upgrade it again, just for minor little stat bonuses. And then I can guarantee you, in, like, the next episode, we'll probably have a new tier of uh, stuff to actually use. So, kind of figuring out what's best and when to upgrade, that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. That's something that you can't really do unless you've played the mod all the way through. But, um, we're going to do that anyway. We're going to play this mod all the way through and, uh, we can see at the end which way was, uh, best. Right, I'm going to grab all of this and then we're good to go. There's a heart crystal up there as well. I should probably grab that. Look at me. I was already getting thrown off by my keyboard then. Kind of doing, uh, jumps in different directions and such. <laughs> okay. Right, I'm going to go up and grab that heart crystal, grab the rest of this, and then we are free to go and grab our feathers for our um, for our new wings. I don't know how pre-hard mode wings are going to work. Probably not very well, so it'll be interesting to see. Oh, shine potion run out. Okay, let's go up here. Hop. So where is this heart crystal then? Is it just in the open or is it kind of like hidden away? Like, would we have seen this without a spelunker potion? That's why I want to know. Okay, where are you, buddy? Oh, right. Oh my god, we'd have never seen that. Not unless it was completely, like, random. Nice. Okay, so let's craft up the rest of this, uh, this ore. So that takes us up to 24 bars, which is nice. And then we need to go and grab some feathers. So I actually have my floating island over here to the left. So let's go and check it out. It shouldn't take too long to actually get some feathers. I'm usually pretty lucky when it comes to uh, getting feathers. Or at least I was when I was uh, getting some feathers for uh, our sandstorm in a bottle. That was pretty easy, to be honest. Okay, right. Oh, it's actually over there. I thought we were getting close. Didn't realize it was in the ice biome. Hey, we got our first blizzard. Oh my god, the, uh, the effect of the blizzard is so nice. Like, I think it looks really, really good. Compared to the uh, sandstorm, which has completely screwed us over twice, I really, really like the blizzard. I, uh, I'm a big, big sucker for snow. In any kind of game, I love snow. The thing is, in life, like, I don't even get much snow in real life. Like, we haven't had proper snow where I live in five years. Like, that is mad. Like, there are some people in, like, America and such where it's like, oh, snow? Yeah, that's such a nuisance because we get it every week. <laughs> Maybe not that extreme. Right, come on. Let's get some feathers. Let's see, though. Everything is looking good. This tide bars. Vic tide bars. I need to go for a word that I like. Vic tide bars. Aerial light. Aerial light? Aerial light. Aerial light and Vic tide. Okay, that, that will work for me because that's kind of like the ocean. So, like tide. And that's feathers. So, aerial, like in the sky. Air. Sure. Ariel the Disney Princess. Okay, so I have all five feathers now. I'll tell you what, they're all spawning now, but I swear to God, like, I was waiting ages just to get one little harpy. Right, I'll kill all of these off. Maybe get some extra feathers, maybe not. Let's see. Gonna heal up, though. Okay, so we got one extra feather. And kill this one. Is it gonna be two extra feathers? Okay, two extra feathers. Not bad. Right, so let's go back to the house. So, I believe it was a combination of feathers, sand, and those bars. Let's see. 
Right, I don't see the crafting recipe here. You know what? I'm actually just going to open up our, uh, our little thing here. And let's see. Wing. Okay, which one was it? Skyline wings. Oh, five fallen stars. Ah, okay. Right, so I've probably got some in the chest. Yeah, I've got 28. So, let's make our first wings. Bam! <laughs> menacing as well. That's what I love to see. So lucky with the menacing recently. Oh my god, look. These are menacing as well. Wow. That is cool. Oh, that is nice to see. Do you take fall damage? Okay, let's try that out. Oh, you don't take fall damage. That's brilliant. My god, these are awesome. It's kind of like getting a uh, like a lucky horseshoe at the start of the game. And then also getting a bit of the rocket boots. Wow. That is so cool to see hard, like pre-hard mode wings. That's so cool. I love it. I love it. Now, one last thing I want to take a look at before I end today's episode is something called the Biome Sword. I saw a comment yesterday. You probably know who you are. Um, about the Biome Sword. And I thought, well, I've got to check it out. Because it sounds cool. So I'm going to get some dirt. And we're going to go ask about this... Uh, this biome sword, because it requires, apparently, ingredients from different biomes. Which makes a lot of sense. Look at me getting dirt out. and <laughs> Oh, so stupid. Right, I don't see any biome sword stuff there. Um, let's see if it's on the recipe browser. Biome... Hmm. Maybe it's got a different name. No, I don't think it exists. Not in this mod, at least. Huh. Right. Well, cool. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. Just a short one. Just a more relaxed one. I uh, I needed to uh, to chill out after all those bosses. But uh, it's cool to actually get in and uh, start getting some cool stuff. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.